Welcome. The following video will explain how to set up the hardwired I.O. on the PowerFlex 750 series drives. It will illustrate how to use the inputs and outputs on the main control boards of the PowerFlex 753 and 755 as well as the I.O. option cards available for both drives. The first step in setting up hardwired I.O. on the drive is to determine which inputs will be used. The PowerFlex 750 series drives have many options for inputs, all of which are covered in the installation instructions for the drive, linked to this video description. In order to begin programming, the port of the option card must be identified as well as the specific inputs being utilized. All main control boards are located on port 0, while the I.O. cards can be located on ports 4 through 8. To best illustrate programming a digital input, we will show the steps to program digital input stop wired to DI1 on a port 4 I.O. card. Navigate to parameter 158 DI stop in port 0. First select the port 4 and then next select parameter 1 digital input status. Finally select bit 1 which corresponds to terminal DI1. Please note from this example all digital input function parameters are located within port 0. For example, even though a port 4 terminal is being used, parameter 158 in port 0 is used to program the desired function. To program other digital input functions, repeat this process. One, locate the physical terminal used. Two, navigate to port zero. Three, select the desired function. And then four, select the port status parameter and corresponding terminal bit. To program a relay output or a transistor output, First identify the port it is located on. When programming relay and transistor outputs, the parameters for that output is found in the port where the terminal is located. In this example, relay output 0 on port 6 is being programmed to mirror the fault status of the drive. Select the port and corresponding parameter the output will mirror. Most commonly, this will be a drive status parameter found within port 0. In parameter 10, select port 0, parameter 935, bit 7, which happens to indicate a fault. Relay output 1 will now mirror the status of that bit. More complicated functions for relay output such as delayed on and off time, level comparators, and state inversion are also available. These functions are found after the respective output select parameters used before. To program the analog inputs, begin by setting the respective input mode jumper found on the I.O. card. This jumper determines whether the input functions in a voltage mode or a current mode. Make sure to set this jumper before the analog input is programmed, otherwise the units will be incorrect on the associated parameters. With the input mode jumper correctly set, the analog input can be used for its desired function. For example, parameter 945 in port 0 can be set to utilize the analog input as a speed reference. 
if the scaling of the analog input needs to be changed, change the analog in low and high values. In this example, analog in 1 must be changed from 0 to 20 milliamps to 4 to 20 milliamps. Parameter 52 in port 6, analog in 0 low, we will change from a value of 0 to a value of 4. Similar to analog inputs, to utilize the analog outputs, the current voltage mode must be selected first. This is accomplished by setting the analog output type parameter. Once in the correct mode, program the analog output to mirror the desired parameter within the drive. In this example, analog output 1 is set to mirror the output current of the drive. If either the output signal or the data for the chosen parameter needs to be scaled, this can be done in the parameters following the selection parameter. Note that these parameters reside in the port the I.O. card is in, identical to the relay outputs. We thank you for watching, and if you desire additional references on this topic, please look at those provided in the description area below.